Hello friends, good morning. Today uh, I'm going to start uh, the CSFB uh, part in LT uh, voice. So we'll see the major deployment options of the LT voice. So with a repeated request, I have started the CSFB uh, uh, you know, session for you. So we'll see step by step uh, and we'll learn uh, the CSFB. Uh, uh, you know procedures and uh, how CSFB work and what are the requirements uh, in terms of uh, you know executing CSFB services in the network so we'll start from today with major deployment options of uh, LT voice so basically uh, there are uh, uh, two different kind of uh, LT voice solutions we have uh, in market now so one is uh, uh, voice over LT or VOLT as you know and uh, for uh, you know uh, using we can use in VOLT you can use uh, both data and voice and uh, reuse CS which is also called uh, CSFB circuit switch fallback procedure uh, so we can use uh, CS for uh, voice as a, you know solution so if I'll say uh, uh, voice over LT VOLT that is basically the IMS best LT voice uh, which provide a voice service based on the LT network uh, support interwork with 2G 3G also but uh, when talk about CS fallback uh, it's like uh, attaching LT first and then switching to CS or voice first we get attached or we are in the LT network and uh, we switch to CS for voice requirement from the user that is the difference between uh, VOLT and CS fallback and in SVLT we attach to 2G 3G and LT simultaneously okay and uh, 2G 3G specifically for voice so I'll tell you what are the impact of all these three uh, kind of services or solutions provided by the vendors. Uh, in the VOLT, a uh, rich service experience uh, can be experienced by the customer. Uh, less connection time in CS because you are in a VOLT, you are using the same network for voice. And uh, I can say greater than three times frequency efficiency can be achieved through VOLT. In the other hand, when we talk about CS fallback, uh, the first uh, supply uh, basic voice service for LT users. And uh, only demerit is the longer connection time because you request the service, then you are you know, uh, switching to CS for voice. So it takes a longer connection time. Uh, the third, the SVLT, where, it, where you are simultaneously attached with 2G, 3G, and LT network, uh, it's less impact to network, but it is high cost and you know uh, power consumption uh, in case of terminal because you are connected to all three services simultaneously, and you use a lot of power uh, as far as terminal connection, uh, terminal connection or the UE uh, connection is concerned. You consume a lot of power and uh, you use a traditional service in CS so that's all about uh, the kind of uh, LT solution available in the market today so that's all about uh, the introduction of CS fallback requirement so in the next session uh, I'll uh, uh, choose the next step towards CSFB uh, that is the solution uh, can be provided in CSFB and what kind of uh, requirements are there in terms of uh, uh, network elements are concerned so I'll explain what are the requirements of the network element to conduct CSFB smoothly uh, so till then take care bye bye keep watching and tuned uh, to our channel for the next updates for CSFB thank you so much for watching take care bye bye